Deadpool 3 and Avengers 5 delayed because of low key? Ooh. Hi, welcome to another episode with Unique Comics and Collectibles. This is going to be a great coffee episode. We got so many key facts and upcoming comics that you don't want to miss, plus that upcoming Deadpool 3 movie, so let's just get right into it. How Loki Seasons 2 ending sets up Deadpool 3 and Avengers 5. Loki Seasons 2 concluded in November 2023 and may perfectly pave the road for the multiversal events of Deadpool 3 and Avengers The Kang Dynasty. Final moments of Loki Season 2 might have perfectly set up some major storylines the Marvel Studios' upcoming Deadpool 3 and Avengers The Kang Dynasty, released as part of Phase 5 of the MCU. Loki realized he needed to embark on a new mission to mend the devastation which paves the road for some massive multiversal events in the MCU's future. I think that it was well waited for. I don't think that they should come out with a great movie like Deadpool 3 unless they were 100% satisfied with the production. After learning that expanding the range of the temporal loom was a useless endeavor, Loki instead decided to take matters into his own hands, Loki Season 2 finale. Loki not only became the most powerful being in the MCU, but also set the stage for the TVA to have a much more ethical purpose. TVA has been rumored for Deadpool that Owen Wilson, who could come into contact with Deadpool and Hugh Jackman, Although left unclear at the end of Loki Season 2, Mobius will likely return to his work at the TVA, which could make a role in Deadpool 3 even more possible. That's pretty sweet. All right, so we have a uh, New Mutants 98. Here's a great opportunity for a 9.8 newsstand. If you look at the price, still under two grand, but what a gorgeous copy here. 9.8. I want you to look at something with this 9.8 as well, that the top corner right here is curved. It's almost kind of bit off or chewed. Still a 9.8, so you can see what they allow for a 9.8. With the movie being delayed and everything being said, right now is a great time to start looking into those New Mutant 98 books. What a great copy for $350. The deals are here. They're on the table. In 20, 30 years from now, you're not going to get a 9.2 for 300 bucks. I guarantee you. You need to pay attention to this one. The Venom symbiote bonds with unlikely hosts in the new Marvel series. A new series from Marvel explores what would happen if the Venom symbiote bonds with heroes such as Loki, She-Hulk, and Doctor Strange. That is so cool. I'm a huge What If fan. According to the Marvel, a five-part limited series titled What If... Venom will launch in February, written by Jeremy Halt and featuring art from Jesus. Fan favorite Marvel heroes will find themselves bonded with the symbiote during the comics, including She-Hulk, Wolverine, Doctor Strange, Loki, and Moon Knight. Books to look out for right there in the future. All right, we're going to run through these pretty quick. We got you on Key Collector. Batman Gargoyle of Gotham, number two. First appearance of Moth Er. First appearance of the Virgin. Outsiders, number one. First appearance of Drummer, a female version of the planetary character. First appearance of the Third Man, a villain with the secret buried beneath Antarctica. Speed Force number one, new series led by Wallace West and Avery Ho. So that's a, uh, a Flash uh, series. World's Finest Teen Titans number five, Somna. Ashcan uh, edition given away with the purchase of the convention exclusive edition of Devil Cuts number one. Philadelphia 31 guest appearance from Spawn, Savage Dragon, and Black Hula. Deviant number one. Alien number one. Premier issue. Black Panther first appearance of King M. Telly. Deadpool Seven Slaughters number one. This is a one shot series. It's Deadpool where he commits seven assassins each day. Immortal Thor, possible introduction of the four. Solicitation states that this story of the Immortal Thor and the summoning of the four. Star Wars Visions, got a nice cover there by Peach Momoko and its first appearance of Ancock, a cult member who believes she is the successor of the legacy of the six. Ghost of the Water, number one. Lipstick Klika, number one. And there you go. So there's all your key issues this week. 
All right, so brand new comic book day on November 15th. Something to look forward to, of course, every week. And of course, DC always comes out a day earlier, so make sure you head to your LCS if there's any big DC keys on Tuesdays. So we got DC Comics 1077, never fails. Cool cover there. Fantastic 413 covers. We got the main cover here, right there. This one is the Kokolo Storm cover. That's really cool. Got the Moon Knight cover, Knight's End. And these are going to be all keys, so pay attention to those variants. Okay, so we have Batman and Robin number three. This book's actually a, a key because it has the first full appearance of Shush in the book. This one you want to grab right here, Batman and Robin number three. So we got the Green Lantern five already. We got Immortal Thor number four, Lelinale Francis, another Moon Knight cover. So this is Daredevil three, the one in 100. This is cool by... Uh, Ramita Jr. This is a Granov cover, 1 in 25. Really cool cover there. Cassara variant. And the Dustin Nguyen, Knight's End cover. Ghost Rider. Wow, 1 in 25. Cool book. Nice. Got Spawn, 347. The Teen Titans. We've got Superman Lost, number eight. That's a key issue for me. I will be grabbing that book. Great series of Superman Lost there. Uncanny Avengers, number four. Dark X-Men, number four. Jean Grey, number four. Blade 5. Superior Spider-Man, number one. This is a tying-in story, so this is a key. Got the one in 50. That's pretty cool. Homage variant. That's pretty cool right there. Dr. Afra, 38 Star Wars, Danger Street, number 11. I'm getting into that series. Children of the Vault, number four. The Sandman, number two. I'll probably grab that book. Red Goblin, 10. Alpha Flight, number four. Astonishing Iceman, number four. The Walking Dead, Deluxe, 77. Spine Tingling Spider-Man number two. I'll probably be grabbing that book as well. Black Panther six. The Vigil six. Fish Flies number three. That's a Canadian book. Star Wars Dark Droids number four. The Call number four. Outsiders number one. This is a key book here. Cool covers. So Big Game number five. Wildcats number 12. Something Epic number seven. Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 2 number 6. This is a really cool cover. I'll probably be grabbing this cover just because it's a Yoda cover, so I think that's really cool. Geiger Ground Zero number 1. Star Wars Visions number 1. Cover by Peach Momoko right there. If you can grab that one, definitely be worth money. Got the G.I. Joe A Real American Hero 301. Speed Force number 1. That's that flash book. Time Before 29. Philadelphia 31, Silver Surfer Rebirth, Legacy number 3, Deadpool 7 Slaughters, we need to see the covers of this, there's that, the 1 in 25 Arthur Adams variant cover, that's pretty sweet, I'll try getting that Arthur Adams if I can, otherwise I'll probably just grab the $10 book. G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, number one. This is the Larry Hammond cut. Capcoff, The Howling Commandos, number two. Alien, number one. Pedestrian Life of Christopher Chaos, number five. Red Sonia, number five. Cool cover. The Forged, number six. Hexagon Bridge, number three. Dune House, Harakam, 11. Earth Divers, number 12. Antarctica, five. Coda 3, Arcade Kings 10, A Haunted Girl number 2, Return of the Jedi, 40th Anniversary, Terror War, I am into those, number 7, they are pretty cool. The Rocketeer in the Den of Thieves, number 4, Door by Door, Night by Night, number 7, Looney Tunes 275, Rumpus Room 3, Scrapper 5, The Ministry of Compliance number 1, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, of course, The Last Ronin, Reissue number two, Operation Sunshine 2, My Hero Academy 406, Godfill 5, One Piece 1098, Crusader 3, 
Project Crypid 3, Dutch 10, Dungeons and Dragons, Fortune Finder number one, a lot of books, The Prism 2, Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time, The Great Hunt number one, The Man from Maybe number two, Junior Baker, The Righteous Faker number three, Shutter Magazines 14, uh, Children of the Comet 5, Lady Death uh, cybernetic desecration number one space outlaws number two godzilla rivals megazilla number one that could be a cool book lipstick clica number one street fighter and evolution specials number one lovecraft call of chalhu number one siphon number one cations number one monster fan club number one gunbreed four be my villain 88 here comes calico number seven we are Scarlet Twilight, number four. Pee Pee Poo Poo Comics, that's interesting. Tox, number one. Betty and Veronica Jumbo Comics, 319. And those do not come cheap. Those are a $10 cover price on those Archie comics. Ghost the Water, number one. Super Liquid Avatar, number one. Star Trek Explorer, number nine. Rock and Roll Biographics, 22. The Cowboy with Many Hats, number one. Accursed, number one. The Big Elthal Energy, season two, 39. Terra Guardians of the Realms, number nine. Genesis two. Magnus, number four. And then Mineshaft, 44. Wow, there's a lot of books this week. Well, that wraps up everything for this week's Coffee and Comics episode. Thank you for watching and I appreciate your time as always. Please hit that like and share this video. Make sure you subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later.